Hello, it's Miss Julie with Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts, and I'm here to do a story time for you today. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button below so you can see when I post videos just for you. All right, I hope everybody is enjoying the end of their summer. And you know, the next season that's coming up is fall, or if you call it autumn. And sometimes, depending on where you live, this season, the weather changes and make it chilly, cooler. The leaves and the flowers will change colors and new things may grow like apples. So I thought I'd share a book about apples with you today. And it's called Apple Cider Making Days. Oh, did you know you can make things from apples? Let's see how they do that. Look at the nice cover. They got their fall flowers, they're called mums, and they got pumpkins and apples. All right, here they are on the tractor. It says, Grandpa drives the tractor that pulls the wagon that carries Alex and Abigail and all the aunts, uncles, and cousins. It's fall, and these are cider-making days at Grandpa's apple farm. Grandpa grows dwarf apple trees that are about as tall as a person. Alex and Abigail pick apples from the lower branches with the cousins. The grown-ups pick the apples growing near the tops of the tree. Have you ever picked apples before? Maybe you'd like to try it out. Alex and Abigail each take a handle and carry their wooden bushel of baskets full to the wagon. Together, they hoist the basket of bright red apples into the wagon. Oh, they picked a lot of apples. Hard work. The wagon is full. Grandpa drives the tractor to the barn. Alex and Abigail dump along a bunch of, look at that, of all the apples. They're bumping along. Okay. Grandpa backs the wagon into the barn till it stands in front of the apple sorter. Alex and Ab Abigail jump down and unload apples. Put them turn into the barn and take their places along the conveyor belt. The turning machine roars as loud as an airplane. The conveyor belt moves apples and apples fall. It doesn't sort the perfect apples from the not so perfect apples. The apples move along towards the showers where the spray of water washes them clean. They tumble across soft foam padded rubber rollers that gently dry them. Aunts and uncles take the clean, dry, shiny apples and bag them to sell. They carry the bags to the cold storage room. It's always about 40 degrees inside. Brr. These are called eating apples. Alex and Abigail and the cousins toss the apples that are bruised or oddly shaped into another conveyor belt for cider. The cider apples travel in a straight line up a slant as a ski slope. They drop down into a grater with sharp metal blades. Then they are chopped into small pieces with Grandpa calls apple mush. The apple mush is sucked up through the wide bendable tube. Uncles lay steel frame under cider press and they cover it with a clean burlap cloth. And Grandpa squirts gallons and gallons of apple mush into it. After the cloth is full, the uncles fold it in the middle and they set a heavy rack on top. They repeat the steps until the huge pile of frames, cloths, full of apple mush and rags are piled one on top of another. Grandpa slowly lowers the pancakes, flat shield, plate, cylinder press. The plate squeezes the cider juice out of the apple moss. As more and more pressure is the pile gets thinner. The air is filled with strong, sweet apple smell. At last, the golden brown liquid begins to flow through the clear tubing. Cider is cooled and stored and is still needed, still jugged for people to buy. Wow, look at that process. That you didn't know that was how they made it like that. 
Tomorrow, Grandpa will push open the heavy wooden door to the apple barn. He will crank the red and white striped awning out, spread across the door. Then the apple barn will be open for business. Many cars parked along the long gravel road to the apple barn will drive out to buy jugs of Grandpa's cider, bags of apples, Grandma's homemade donuts. Tomorrow, Alex and Abigail, the aunts and uncles and cousins, will work all day long, waiting on people in the store, running warm donuts down from the farmhouse, pulling bags of apples from the cold storage room, and keeping the cider flowing. They are good workers, and they help out for apple season. Today is the best cider-making day of all. It is the day Alex and Abigail, aunts and uncles, cousins, grandpa, drink the first sweet cider they all help to make. Well, that was a fun book. Do you enjoy apple cider? Maybe you should try some this apple season. If you enjoy the story, come back for another story of craft for Miss Julie's virtual preschool and crafts. Thank you.